What is up, foreigners, and welcome back to episode 9 of 2v2s until we lose. Boss Boy and High Flying currently 24 and 0 here in season 2 on an absolute hot streak. They should be able to continue that today. I'm your host, Donnie G9. Let's jump right into the first battle of the game. Matched up against VK and Mateo518 from Angel O. Demini Demino Clan. Got a small push on the left side and right side from them, but we are going to defend with the double log and Dark Prince doing some damage on their bright tower there. Getting that charge hit off. They send over a Goblin Barrel and a Hog Rider on the right side, but it's stopped by the Elite Barbs. They start pushing over with the Fire Spirits. Huge damage as the Elite Barbs get some solid hits on the right tower there, bringing the tower below 1000 HP. Spear Goblins now. See if they can get a few spears off. He had two solid hits there, extending the lead early in this battle. We sit at a standstill, boss point high flying, showing some good defense, only allowing a few hits on their tower. They break the silence with that giant, and we defend with the mini P.E.K.K.A. and double dark prince, and we jump right into the royal giant push. They mirrored their giant level 14 now, but it's easily taken out by the Double Dark Prince. Unstoppable. Huge damage. Tower there. First tower of the day. Too easy for High Flying and Boss Boy with that mega push. They send over that Goblin Barrel, but does nothing. Sorry, Log easily defends it. Mm, 50 seconds to go. Times 2 Elixir. Boss Boy and High Flying have been controlling this entire game, not allowing barely any hits uh, to be dealt on our tower. They try to do their first push of the game here with the Hog Rider and Miner. They start to do some damage, but nothing to catch back up to this major lead that Boss Boy and High Flying have. With 20 seconds to go, let's see if we can get a 2 cron on this. And we do. And the Royal Giant starting to do some damage on their crown tower. They start to push on the right side, but we should be able to hold off and close out. As they try to tie it up before it's over, but not enough as Boss Boy and High Flying close out Battle 1 here, showing great dominance. And it they have now built up some good momentum here, jumping into Battle 2. Matched up against Meloidus and Nightwolf from Les Frejos clan. Starting off with that level 13 Royal Giant. They defend with the Skarmy and Mini Pekka. Great defense by Melodis and Nightwolf. Dark Prince now charging up to the other side. Getting a few hits on, on just on their defense unit. We have our Elite Barbs on the left side taking out that Knight. Trying to get to the tower. But I think it's going to be stopped by the Valkyrie now. Oh, and we were able to take the Valkyrie out. And the Elite Barbs getting a few solid hits there. Trying to build an early lead in the first minute of the game. Boss Boy and High Flying, not allowing any hits on their towers yet, showing great defense. Sit at a standstill, Meloidus and Nightwolf break the silence with that uh, Hog Rider and Goblin Barrel push, getting a few hits, but their first of the game. Dark Prince on the right side getting that charged hit and multiple hits down. 
really building the lead here, and they have nothing to defend that. Dark Prince, Mini Pekin now on the left side, Spear Goblins on the right. Getting even more hits on their tower. Meloidus and Nightwolf are going to have to find out, figure out a way to defend Boss Boy and High Flying. They've been struggling all game now. One minute to go, times two Elixir. Boss Boy and High Flying just need to finish out that tower and, and close out this game if they want to win. Pushing now with the Elite Barb and Royal Giant. And we take out their defense, and that should be a tower. First tower here in game two, late in the battle, but Boss Boy and High Flying have been able to control this entire game with their insane defensive plays. Let's see if we can get a two crown here. 20 seconds to go. One hit should do, and it is enough to take that second tower. Royal Giant, maybe we can get a 3 crown here, and I don't think it'll be enough, but Boss Boy and High Flying should make this a 2-0 and o so far in the day, as we're jumping into our final battle, final and third battle coming right up. We're jumping into our third and final battle of the day. We're matched up against Assassin Ass Fowl and Renat from our bar clan. Huge push right off the bat. Royal Giant, Elite Barbs, and Double Dark Prince. This should be an easy first tower for Boss Boy and High Flying, and it is showing early dominance here in Battle 3. And the Valkyries finally stop our push. Hog Rider now pushing to our tower and Lumberjack taking out their push backed up by the Spear Goblins doing some damage on their crown tower. We've only been a minute into this game and Boss Boy and High Flying have had full control from right off the bat. We sit at a standstill. We already have their crown tower under half health. Let's see if Boss Boy and High Flying can close out this game as they show a little bit of a trolling act with that double dark log to do nothing. They place down their giant. We defend with that Skarmy, but they take out our defense with the wizard and um, firecracker. We have a small push as they defend terribly wrong with that uh, Skarmy placing in the, uh, or actually surrounding the Dark Prince, something you do not want to do when you're trying to defend that with the Skarmy. But they do have their Hog Rider starting to do some solid damage on our tower. Some of the first of the game, but we do stop their push still. 60 seconds to go, times to Elixir. Let's see if Boss Boy and High Flying can get that 3 crown in. Before this minute is up. And they continue to push. Trying to tie this thing up. The Hog Rider brings the, our tower to 594 HP. While our Royal Giant just doing huge damage. Boom, boom, boom. Three crown. What a way to finish the day with that amazing three crown. Total domination today. Boss Boy and High Flying pushing their record to 27 and 0 here in episode 9. Thank you all for watching. Please check out our merch store and our limited edition Foreign Founders merchandise is still in the store if you want to purchase an OG shirt to uh, prove that you are a early foreign fan. So that link will be in the description. That's all we have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Donnie G9, signing off for now. Boom, boom, boom!